Hello Jurassic Park podcast viewers, it is Tom Jurassic back here today and today we are talking about something exciting to do with Jurassic World Evolution. So today on the Frontier Forums, Paul Crowther, one of the community managers over at Frontier Developments, has posted Feature Focus 1, looking at the big summer update which will be debuting in Jurassic World Evolution in what is essentially a couple of months' time, I would imagine. So, today's first Feature Focus was on a topic which I think a lot of you are going to be incredibly excited about, and that is terrain and scenery. So. Frontier have heard the community's outcry for additional terrain features, additional scenery tools, and they have delivered. So update 1.8 will introduce a selection of terrain brush tools that will allow you to alter the land textures of your parks, reading from the post there. So that in itself is really, really exciting. Uh, we're going to be given rock, mud and grass effects to begin with. And on certain islands, such as Isla Muerta, you will also be able to use sand brushes to further enhance those sandy beach-like um, parks that you really want to build on those islands, you know, Muerta in particular has got that gorgeous beach landing as you come into the island, so being able to expand that is going to be very exciting. Now, it is important to note that Paul says here that these materials were pulled from um, the game system itself, so some of the core framework elements needed to be changed, but Frontier have managed to achieve that while still maintaining the same standard of performance and game size, which is great. Now, in addition to this, we will also be uh, receiving new shrub tools. So obviously on each of uh, El Cinco Muertes, there are different brushes and different shrubbery. Um, and you will now be able to spawn all the different types on one island. So if you want to have a paddock with maybe thick palms and um, that kind of shrubbery, you can. But equally, you could just have woodland grass kind of style. Um, so this in itself is really nice as it's going to give you a little bit more dexterity when it comes to creating themed paddocks. Uh, and I think this is something which is really going to engage the more creative members of the community in a really positive manner. Uh, so I am definitely excited to see this. And then in addition to this, they are also going to add a new feature with natural scenery items where you will be able to place individual trees and rocks to create specific looks. So within this update, we're going to get five different trees to place and six unique rocks and rock formations. So this is quite exciting. Uh, it's going to let you really get in depth with those paddocks, you know, experiment with the design you've got going on. And I think that this could um, actually be a really, really beneficial update, especially for people looking to set dress, uh, make specific sceneries, specific paddocks for machinima proje uh, projects and other projects. Uh, so it is really, really exciting, I feel. Um, this, again, like the capture mode, is a really, really big quality of life update for Jurassic World Evolution. And I think it goes to show that the people over at Frontier who are working on this game really are committed to slowly building upon the blocks that they have laid for themselves. Uh, they clearly, since the game has released, have been listening to feedback, have been building upon it. And this really, really is one of those big quality of life updates which I think is going to add a lot of value to this game. Now the game has just received a new game director so hopefully with his introduction to the community we can expect to see even more great updates in the future. But that's it for me for now guys. Uh, I want to know what do you think of this update? Are you going to be diving back into Jurassic World Evolution? And what else do you want to see from the summer update? As always guys, Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and stay tuned to the Jurassic Park podcast for all the latest Jurassic Park news. And in the meantime, guys, have a great week.